Hello guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today what we're going to learn about is queuing. And you can see I even have a bit of trouble spelling this word. But fortunately, um, the maths is not as hard as spelling it. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about some examples of cues. Now, this definition of a queue is simply what I found on Google, and that is a line of people or things awaiting their turn to be attended to. And you can see this very often in real life, either a queue of people or queue of things or queue of vehicles, uh, so many things. Okay, even things that you can't see happening in real life. For example, every time you send a document to the printer, there might be other documents already in the queue. Now, two major categories of queues are either FIFO, which stands for first in, uh, first out, or LIFO, which stands for last in, first out. So I'm going to give you guys uh, an example of each. So first in, first out is usually what happens with most queues formed by people e.g. people at the supermarket, right? It's called first in, first out because the people who arrive at the queue first are the people who get served first and therefore they exit the queue first. So you might think, well, when does LIFO ever happen, right? Because pretty much everything that you can think of right now with queues, people will arrive People who get into the queue first will get served first. For example, people getting on a bus, right? Whoever gets to the queue first usually gets on first, assuming that you're all standing in line, which is uh, the right thing to do. Now, with LIFO, it's the opposite of that. And it usually happens when you are moving things. So, for example, using an elevator to move things, or uh, putting things in a truck, okay, uh, moving stock. So um, the last item that you place inside a truck when you are moving house, for example, right? If you put something, you stack all these things into a truck, whatever you put into the truck last will be the thing that you take out first. So, yeah, LIFO, last in, first out. So basically, queues can be classified into these two major types. Okay, let's talk about some more definitions. This video is sort of going to be like a video of all the definitions you need to know, which is a little bit boring, but you do need it. So we've just talked to you about first in, first out. Right? Uh... And now, from this category, I'm going to now split up these into four further categories. So the first one is single queue, single server. And this usually happens at a very small shop. Okay, if you imagine you have a very small shop, and this is the checkout counter and someone is standing here serving the customers and all the customers are lining up here and then when they when it gets to your turn you come down to about here all right and the person takes your money and then you can leave the shop all right that's single queue single server there's one line and there's one server there's one server here that takes your money and then you get you get out of the shop. 
Okay, so that's the first category inside first in first out. Now it's first in first out because obviously if you if you are joining the queue first, so whoever this person is is going to come out and people who join the queue last is going to come out last. So that's the first category. Okay, the second category is single queue multiple servers. Okay, multiple servers. So imagine at the bank or uh, actually let's do the airport. Let's do the airport. So at the airport you will often see queues that um, look like this. Right? And you have to you have to uh, line up uh, within this line. So people are like lining up people are like lining up through all these uh, whatever you call them uh, I'm just gonna say zigzag cues I don't know if that's the right word but all of these people lined up and then finally if you're at the end there are multiple counters that you can go to Okay, so th let's say this is the end of the line and then you can either go to here or here depending on which counter is free. All right? So basically you got one single very long line. Okay, you got one single very long line and then once you get to the end you can go to one of these um counters to be served. So that's single queue multiple server. Third category. Now I don't know if you guys have been skiing before. Uh, if you have I hope it was a good experience for you. For me it was you know uh, okay. So basically what happens is you have some sort of a ski lift. You're trying to get on this ski lift and this ski lift moves you up the mountain right but to get on the ski lift what happens is there are about six different lanes of people and people just all lined up all of these people lined up within each lane so it's multiple queues and then once you somehow get to the end somehow it's your turn to get on one single server that's gonna uh, drive you up uh, the mountain. So yeah, uh, that's multiple queue single server. And then the last example, or well, let's just do a supermarket one. Multiple queue multiple server. So at the supermarket, you will typically get a lot of counters. Uh, in each counter there will be people lining up for it and there will be a server at each counter taking your money uh, and then you got multiple queues multiple servers multiple queues multiple servers so and then once you get served you exit out the supermarket which is really good Okay, um, so what else? Now, I'm just going to talk about three more definitions. I know you guys are falling asleep. Three more definitions and we're finished uh, this lesson. So <laughs> we haven't finished queuing because we haven't really started the maths. But there are three terms I want you to introduce to you and then we can finish this lesson. So... Let me just write them down first. Now the first one is called bulking. Bulking happens when, for example, you are someone who is just purchased some food, uh, sorry, just took some food at the shop, at this shop that we talked about with a single server. And let's say that you plan to buy this food but you looked at the queue and there was 
30 people waiting in the queue. Okay, there was 30 people waiting in this one single queue. There was 30 people and um, you looked at it and you, you thought, hang on, it takes about, you know, five minutes for one person to leave. So 30 people, how many minutes is that? And it hurts your head thinking about it. So you don't even enter the queue. You just leave. You just leave the store. So that's called uh, bulking. All right, you look at you looked at the queue, you think it's too long, and you leave the store. The second term is called reneging, and that is when a customer is already waiting in the queue. So let's say you're somebody who is trying to buy some food at this restaurant, and you're standing in the queue. You're standing in the queue, and you think, okay, I'm just going to stand here and wait for a while, and then the queue doesn't disappear okay it's been a long time something is broken in the kitchen so you just can't get your turn so you just give up okay so that's called reneging so that's when the customer is tired of waiting in the queue and leaves and last one jockeying and that refers to people moving from queue to queue customers uh, for example, at the supermarket, you would see that most often you wait in this aisle for a while. In this aisle, somehow the machine is broken, and you thought, "Oh, well, it's taking too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to this other queue where it seems to be going a bit faster." And then this queue suddenly. And then as soon as you leave, this queue goes fast, so you come back. And yeah, people jumping between queues. That's called jockeying. Okay, I hope you guys have some under some concept of queuing. I know that this is just some definitions, and you probably think, oh, where is the math? Well, that's coming up. But it's sort of hard for you for us to just get straight into the maths if you don't have understanding of some of the basic concepts. So I hope this video has helped you some way. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.